Why, hello all! This is Fenrir. Welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, we beat down our first boss, got our third character, and now we're on our way to Bilibin. And right now, we see a red djinn! It kind of looks like Flint, so let's talk to it. What? Oh hells. Yes, it fights us. Don't really hold back on these. They can run, and that just gets frustrating. So just bomb the crap out of them right out of the gate. Like that, it runs. You're thinking, oh god, it's gone forever. Nope. You go up here, you go back down, and there it is. The second time, it is unlikely to run. It still can, but the first time, it'll most definitely run. And seeing as Isaac's kind of low on PP, I'm just going to let him hold tight this round. Because he's strong enough on his own. Ow. Yeah, they hurt. They hurt big time. Eh. With Jin, they always follow suit on elementals. If it's fire, it's going to be blasting you with fire. And seeing as this thing is called Mars, it's going to hurt. Lots of fire hurt. And we beat it. And achieved level 5. With a decent amount of money. Money isn't hard to come by in this game. But it's difficult. Awesome animation for the Mars Jin. And we get Forge for Garrett. A nice little stat boost. That guy tells us to keep our eyes out for Mars Jin. So let's just set it. Actually, that's the stat boost. He gets a lot of attack power and HP compared to what Isaac gets in attack and defense. And agility. Isaac is a pretty fast kid. But, that's all in characteristics. We're, I, Ivan's kind of hurt, so let's heal him. That is why I keep the herbs around. Not so much the nuts and the higher up healing items, because by then, I should have my second healer. Eh. Slimes! I'm kinda low on magic. Kill them all. Kill them good. Due to being a healer, Isaac runs out of PP a lot faster than others. Due to the fact that until you get your other healer, he's basically soloing the healing. Ah, well, since I have my shortcut set up to Isaac for moves, I'm going to have to use Garrett's. I wasn't really thinking about that. And now you have this little shortcut, but let's just go north. Cross this bridge. Down here. And we enter Bilbin. Looks kind of creepy. A man-like tree? A tree-like man? Well... No. Damn, 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 damn. Let's not blow him away. Let's read its mind. Oh, hell. That's kind of creepy. Sounds kind of like a sad village anyway. Yes, I did. Never offend the sacred tree. Coloma. Well, I'm gonna worry anyway. How about that? Well, I'd been scared too. Hmm. Statue that can be moved? Woohoo! We have us a secret ladder! And what looks to be a Jin With another damn statue in the way. But there has to be a way around it. McCoy's hidden warehouse do not enter. Too damn bad. You have something I want, bub. Well, that's pretty apparent right up there. So let's try to find a way to it. Ignore me running into walls like an idiot. Let's go around! 
sometimes this game is blatantly obvious, other times it's not. You have to be on the lookout. Blow the ivy away. Go down the ladder. And we're able to move this. Get out of your way. Jump over. And talk to the Jin. This one joins without a fight, thankfully. We get to see a cool animation for it. And we get Gust for Ivan. Ivan gets a lot of speed. He doesn't commonly get attack power, which is awkward, but he is getting a nice little bit of HP from it, so let's take it. And that one move put Isaac back down to the near critical zone for his PP. Pee -pee. He's almost out again. So, before we do anything else, let's go stay at the inn. And then we can talk around to some of these people, find out exactly what's been going on here. Apparently something's going down in a village called Colima. Eh, a little bit more expensive than the other one, but why not? Yay, full heal. Well, that's no fun. Why not? <laughs> well, that sucks. There's a lot of people here. I don't think I want to talk to them all. Let's talk to the chef. Well, that'd be why no one's getting any food. A tree spirit? Curse a man? Sure. No, probably not. Well then, apparently there's a forest near Coloma, and it looks like sus a suspicious tree. Hmm. Evil tree. Horrible pun, I'm not going to say it, but I think its bark is worse than its bite. Who knows. Weapon shop. And we got expensive now. This is where money is hard to come by. Broadswords run for a thousand gold. However, I'm cheap. I like weaponry and armory. So I'm selling the water of life for over 2,000 coins. Call me crazy. I can buy this back when I need it. But right now, I need the money more than I need it. We sell the surplus stuff. I'm not counting the lucky metal. And the wooden stick. You can't sell the shaman's rod, so don't worry about it. Check for artifacts. And we have a witch's wand. Sure, why not? Nice increase to his attack. Let's take it. And since we sell the bandit sword, we get a nice bit of money out of it. Cool, cool, huh? Let's ignore the magic rod. Here's the deal. I'm only buying a broadsword. Ah, uh, for who? This hurts my head. Uh, he needs more attack, so let's give it to him. And you know, let's check out the armor. We have leather armor. Uh, so much expensive stuff. But yeah, let, let's give him this. Since we're getting a large amount of game tickets right about here, let's give him the travel rope. He needs it. More game tickets. Now here's what I like doing. I like selling them. Since we're getting more soon anyway, I don't see the problem with selling them all right here. They're apparently handing them out like freaking candy right now. That is expensive. These are not. Let's give one to Ivan. 
And another game ticket, see? No problem. I reinstate the fact that they sell, like, freaking candy. And we're not even buying them, we're just kind of getting them for buying other stuff. Now, we can buy helmets. I don't think he has... I think he has the circular, so we don't have to worry about that. I'll buy one open helm for Isaac. And then, I'll just buy him the hunter's cap. Hunter's cap. Hunter's sword. Thank you. This way, him and Garrett are decently close in weapon strength. It's the best I can do with the money I have right now, and I don't feel like grinding right now, so... Deal with it. Hmm. Well, there's apparently something up here. Ooh! Something for us to catch and then sell! No. Wrong button. Damn it. And we got us a nut! Hmm... Well... Let's go talk to more people. Like these guys. Well, that's not good. Nope! Off to the east if you want to see it. That's our hint. If they took, if they did a shoddy job of building the barricade, there must be holes in it. Responsible for what? Wait, a curse? All right. So let's assess. Let let's think here for a second. There's a spirit tree in Coloma Forest, and people from Coloma were ordered wood to build her a bigger house. Of course, they were probably slave-like people, so they were ordered to. So, she orders them to go get wood. Maybe the wood around them was too weak, so they go to Coloma Forest to get wood. They come back cursed, which means they must have done something to the Lord Tree, the Spirit Tree. Which means Coloma's curse might really be to blame. She might be to blame for all this. I guess Coloma fucked with their guardian tree. That's not good. Stupid Coloma people. Yep, big explosion. Well... Let's talk to these old couples. Couples. Couple. Nope. Oh, but I'm going to anyway. Well, before we do anything else, I think I should just call a video here. Well, this has been Fenrir, and next time we'll see exactly who's inside this big-ass bloody mansion, and try to see if we can get any answers. See y'all next time.